Hello, uh, welcome back to another tutorial on Coca. Um, now, it's a kind of continuation for the previous uh, lecture on meaning and collocates. And in this tutorial, we will look at um, meaning across genres and periods. Uh, in the previous tutorial, we've explored uh, meaning of words uh, through the collocates via the word feature. Something that we could not do in that uh, word feature is that uh, restricting our search or, or for collocates uh, in terms of the genres or periods of coca. And we could do that in the specific collocate tabs uh, that we will uh, see um, in this tutorial. Okay, so we will still work with the word viral um, and we will explore the noun collocates of viral across different genres and uh, periods. Um, the focus today is to show you how you could do that. Um, you go to Coca as usual, click on this plus tab um, to reveal the collocates tab and click on it. Um, in the word or phrase field, uh, you type in the, the search term viral and in the collocates you type in noun or you can select from the drop down menu of the post tag um, here. I will just type in um, and then I want the noun collocates to occur or occur with a uh, viral within three words to the left of viral okay so you click on this uh, cell number three and three words to the right of viral okay um, and the key to get this comparison uh, genre by genre or period by period is by clicking on this section um, uh, option and you got two columns for comparison yeah? so you could not um, comparing uh, more than two genres at the same time um, yeah you could only uh, do it for two sections so let's start with blog okay we want in one hand collocates that are typical of blog and collocates that are typical of academic text and then these two other options uh, pop up uh, sorting by relevance it means that the um, later on the collocates will be sorted by the relevance to this uh, sections to either blog or academic uh, genre and this option minimum frequency is um, the frequency threshold that you want for um, because this one is thick that you want for collocates in the first section yeah at least um, 20 times uh, for the nouns to occur with viral um, in section 1 but you don't set that I mean that is not set for section 2 by default um, I want to uh, narrow this down or scale it down by 10 so at least 10 times for the noun collocates to occur with viral in um, section 1 in the blog and we are set and now we need to click on this find collocates Hopefully there is no ad uh, for this. And we just need to wait. Oh, there we go. Okay, so yeah. Um, well, after you click find collocates, um, Coca will bring you to this frequency tab where you can inspect the collocates of uh, viral in these two genres. Um, all right, uh, so this first thing first, this numbers, uh, are the total size okay the size of the blog section so uh, around 128 million words and this one is for academic yeah and then uh, the the sorting of these collocates are by relevance and i believe it is based on the decreasing values of the ratio okay um, the ratio column um, so um, these are the collocates that are relevant for we'll talk about ratio later on these are collocates that are relevant for the blog yeah. collocates of viral that are typical or relevant in the blog section and these are those relevant for the academic uh, section um, okay we'll see the specific semantics of these collocates later on um, moving on to these two columns tokens 1 and tokens 2 they are the absolute or row co-occurrence frequency of um, this noun collocate 
with viral in section one um, in in the blog and in comparison to section two in the academic so we see for instance that um, video and videos occur with viral much more frequently in the blog compared to the academic text um, that's how you would read that uh, columns pm1 pm2 is not prime minister but it's a uh, per million word frequency um, relative current frequency per million word for this collocates with viral in either uh, section one in in this case in this in, in the blog and in the uh, section two in academic um, ratio um, ratio is the you know the ratio of occurrence of this word in this uh, section yeah uh, in comparison to the uh, other section in section two um, well you can uh, click on this help button for how you could uh, uh, you know interpret ratio uh, value um, and I have put it in the slide um, so if we look at this uh, video word yeah um, it has 16.1 uh, for the ratio what does it mean um, it means that the noun video uh, occur with viral as the crooked around 16.1 times as much in blog as in academic um, this means okay this is a ratio per million word yeah, relative ratio so what does it mean is that for every one yeah every one um, occurrence of video with viral in academic text you will find around 16.1 occurrence of video with viral in the blog so there is a uh, higher likelihood for you to find um, video with viral in the blog compared to uh, in academic text um, yeah that's uh, basically how you will interpret this ratio value um, yeah so now um, getting into our business namely looking at whether uh, different meanings of a word may have different distribution across uh, genre um, and if we look at the colloquate types, uh, yeah, semantic classes of the colloquate, of the colloquates in the blog, for instance, um, video, videos, content, posts, okay, I think social media posts, story, campaign, um, internet people, campaigns, plural, blog, marketing, media, they all refer to, uh, refer to one of the senses, one of the meanings of viral, namely the spreading meaning yeah the quickly and widely spreading of uh, information over the internet okay and these collocates um that reflect that meaning are prominent in the blog okay so we could argue that well this metaphorical meaning of viral spreading quickly over the internet is uh, prominent in the blog yeah and then if we look at the collocates in academic words such as pathogens, uh, RNA, hepatitis, uh, gastroenteritis, transmission, um, outbreaks, COVID-19, genomes, gene um, sequences that's related to gene, particles, illness, and fever, okay, those are all words that um, reflect or evoke the uh, primary meaning of viral, namely, that is related to or caused by virus okay the uh, virology or the biology meaning of viral and yeah this meaning is um, prominent in academic text and this kind of comparison is not possible yeah, comparison between genre distribution of meaning across genre is not possible or maybe obscure yeah, hidden when you just take into account the whole corpus uh, for finding the collocates of viral without taking into account whether those meanings um, have different distribution across genres. And the idea, the, the, the logic of this comparison across genre is applicable for comparison across different period of coca. Um, well, we could um, select one of this period, okay? Um, let's say comparing 1990s 
with uh, 2015 to 2019 okay um, let me just for making sure I will ignore this and click again this um, okay let's say 1990s uh, the first two and the last two of the 2000 okay um, and we will just leave that as it is let's see what this give us um, fine color kits I hope there is no uh, add okay um, yeah so um, in the 1995 up to the 90 um from 1990 up to the 1999 these are the relevant color kits um i think the white one is rather blurry uh, for its relevance to this period but anyway um meaning it is is the first and the only relevant green highlighted color kit um for viral okay and in the 2000 uh, words such as video and videos are among the top yeah. if you see video the ratio of video is super high 323.4 okay so for well that's um very high and you just you see that uh, there is only one um tokens for video in the 1990s okay compared to 327 concurrence of video with viral in the 2000 yeah at least from 2010 up until 2019 um well this says something that um collocational preference or collocational profile of a word may change across time and this could um be explained you see internet as a third uh prominent collocation in the 2000 and this kind of collocational change could be explained at least uh, for viral in terms of the technological development uh, nowadays yeah we have internet um, yeah social media and we could share something quickly over those uh, medium and maybe people think that the word viral uh, suits that meaning um, and well you know that we try to use the metaphorical uh, characteristic of viral that could um, not metaphorical the original characteristic of virus that could spread quickly over people such as COVID-19 um, yeah the point here is that you could compare collocates of a word across different sections either period or genre and in the next video I would like to show you how you could compare two words inside of one word uh, collocates of one word we compare two words that may be similar in meaning uh, in terms of their collocational preferences and I will also show you that we can compare not only exact word form but we can also compare phrases yeah uh, phrasal constructions in terms of their collocates um, okay I hope this can be useful and we'll see you soon bye